Next up, we're making some Kentucky hot brown bites. Everybody loves Kentucky hot brown bites, but we gotta make these the day of. We've got four slices of bacon chopped. We've got a French baguette, one and a half cups of chopped sliced turkey, quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. We've got two tablespoons of butter, one and a half cups of milk, two tablespoons of flour over here, one bag of Sargento savory garlic and herb jack snack bites and again, some sliced scallions for garnish. Let's start with the bacon. While this is cooking, I have preheated the oven to 450 degrees. We're gonna heat our hot brown bites and melt the cheese. We're gonna reserve all of this bacon fat to brush on our baguette. Back to the stove, we're gonna melt some butter in a saucepan. When the butter is melted up, we're gonna add our flour and milk in. Let's get some flour in there and just start whisking that around. But you just wanna keep going until you get it smooth consistency. Okay, I see that heating up, so I'm going to add in our Sargento cheese. I like to do this over a low heat so we have control over the process. Obviously with milk, you don't wanna curdle it. All right, the cheese has melted and looks beautiful. We've got it right in our saucepan. We reserved the bacon fat from before uh, when we cooked up our bacon. So what we're going to use is the bacon fat on our baguette. We're just gonna brush it lightly and put it on the baking sheet. Next, we're gonna take our sun-dried tomatoes and turkey and combine them. I'm going to put a mixture of the turkey and sun-dried tomato on each baguette. When you've got the sun-dried tomatoes and turkey evenly, spaced out on your baguettes. We are going to drizzle the cheese sauce. So we're just gonna put a few bacon bits on top of each hot brown bite. Now we're going to put the hot brown bites in the oven for, it's a hot oven, about 10 minutes. Look how wonderful they look. We're just gonna put them down here now we are going to garnish these with a little bit of scallions. I think you're really going to enjoy these. I know your guests are going to enjoy them. Okay, we're gonna lighten things up a little bit with a salad. So we've got a spring mix here, washed and dried. We're gonna be serving these in individual cups to keep with our party theme of grab and go. We're gonna start with some great blackberries and some strawberries, which I sliced. You can quarter however you like. I just thought that the color would burst like this. Some yellow raisins, and just gives us a nice mix of colors. Some almonds, little protein for the non-meat eaters. And some crumbled feta cheese. Here we go. And I am going to pre-dress this with a honey mustard. You could use any dressing you want. You could use a light raspberry vinaigrette would match this as well. And I'm not going to overdress it. I'm just going to do enough to coat the lettuce a little bit. And I'm just gonna to toss it lightly. I'm going to go with these little uh, plastic cups you get at any supermarket and matching little plastic forks. And we're gonna serve up the salads. So a little bit of everything in each cup. and we'll spread these out over on our party table. If you're gonna throw a Kentucky Derby party like a real Southerner, you're gonna need some sweet tea. Let's make a little sweet tea with bourbon, shall we? This'll be a mint julep sweet tea. And I'm just gonna press down on our mint just a little bit with a teaspoon just to release that flavor. And we're gonna put a little mint, a little crushed mint in each pitcher. I'm gonna divide a little bit of sugar in each. There we go. And this is a whole lemon. This is gonna be a lot of lemon, but I like a lot of lemon. Okay. And now we've got some tea that we brewed up. So uh, a lot more tea than bourbon. That's the good news. Not that much more, but more. This I will taste. 
Oh, that is so light and refreshing. I really love this. I love a mint julep, but I really love this iced tea. This has been so much fun making Kentucky Derby party recipes with you today. We will print all of the ingredients uh, and recipes that you will need if you want to make any of this, and please send us some of your own ideas. And happy Derby Day.